Hello Lola's, I am back with baby Katie Lou and I just wanted to do a quick video of her and show what she's wearing today. Um, I just threw that little headband on. Actually, she didn't have on a headband. Um, so, she has on her little flowery shorts. <laughs> there she go. And a little tank top. I think it's one of her brother's tank tops, but you know, it is what it is. So, um, for those that may not know, um, Katie Lou is a personal baby for me, um, painted by me. I love this little dainty little hand. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's, she's a personal baby. So she is the, uh, Lulu face. By Joanna Kazmarak, and then she is the Laura's Arms and Legs by Bonnie Brown. And I mixed her up. She does have a tummy plate as well, but she doesn't have it on at the moment because I wanted her to be cuddly. Um, but um, what was I gonna say? Uh, I forgot. Anyway, I I'm I mixed her up, so that's that's that. Um. Lulu is a very sold out, um, sought after sculpt. Laura is a very sought after sculpt, but not sold out. It's an open edition. I don't know if they're in stock right now or what's going on with that, but um, they are very, very popular at the moment. So, um, of course, now that leaves me with a Lauren head. And I'm not sure if I will just make that a cuddle baby or if I will hold on to it and eventually pair it with some different limbs. Um, I do have some other limbs that I think will work perfect with um, the Laura head that are also body brown limbs that are very similar to Laura's limbs, actually, um, as far as the legs go. So I'm not... I'm not sure yet what I want to do with that, but I was uh, looking, it's a lot of pre-orders going on and I wanted to just kind of briefly talk about it and give my my thought, thoughts on the pre-orders. Um, I don't want <laughs> people to be upset when I say this, but I actually am not for pre-orders anymore, but 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 I will pre-order a very limited edition um kit because second market you're gonna pay triple what you would have paid if you'd have just bought it. So um when those kits come out, like the Natalie Blick kits, she always does 999 kits. Um and if you don't get them during the pre-order you're going to pay like, instead of paying like $130, you are going to pay like $300, $400 after they come in stock. People are going to just immediately start selling them for way higher. So, um, even if I'm on the fence about the kit, I just go ahead and pre-order it. Um, but other than that, the open editions, I don't see the rush. Um, especially since I'm not going to be able to paint it no time soon. They're not going to be in stock for months. So, I, I've just decided just not to worry about it and not to uh, go for it. You know, just wait. Look at that little feet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, so, I've just decided not to do that. Now, let me explain something and the reason why I say I don't want people to be upset about it. And I, I understand from an artist standpoint the purpose of a pre-order. Um, so, a lot of them pre-order to get an idea of how many kits they want to purchase and also I think it also helps pay for the production of the kits because um, producing these kits costs a lot of money for the sculptors like a lot of money and you know thousands and thousands of dollars and they have to pay that money you know regardless if they sell or not so that's why the pre-orders are usually pretty darn important um, to them. But to us, 
it's it used to be a thing where you want to make sure you got it you know so let's say if this is going to be a limited edition of 500 and only during the pre-order like let's say 350 sale so you got a little chance you might do okay and you might be able to get them but back in the day the you know 250 was like okay that was pretty common for a edition size 500 was a lot and you would pre-order because once the pre-order is over it usually are a lot of times during pre-order they would sell out like they would just sell out and it was actually true sold out editions um, even now one of the things that's been a little sketchy and I think is unethical is some of the sculptors has decided to go back to very sold out editions um, like the Arcello kit they went back and this kit people paid $500 to get that that kit after it was sold out or so and then years later the sculptor decided to do another edition of that particular face I think she switched up the arms or something, the hands or something, but it's pretty much the same kit. And it it really, really kind of upset the community. And I can understand why, because you just devalue all the other, other kits. So, but there are a lot of sculptors that still like pretty much honor and don't go back. You know, if it's, if it's limited, it's limited. Um, so... Those I will still pre-order, but open editions and ones that's got first, second, and third editions. I don't, you know, I'm not in a rush to get those because I feel like they're going to be just, they're going to be available. Um, so pre-orders is just not my thing because I've gotten to the point where I turn around and look up and I owe like four or $500 on pre-orders. <laughs> and the thing is, is that the kit is in stock like a whole year later. Like, why did I rush to spend my money? And then I'm never going to paint that kit, like, as soon as it come. A lot of, you know, there are some kits that I, you know, you want right away. Like, even the Missy, I thought, okay, I'm going to paint that one, you know, as soon as it come. Or, no, no. I'm just now starting to paint Missy. And Natalie Blick got another kit coming out. So, and then that's another thing. I remember when I used to hate, like, um cell phones like you know how you used to keep up with the the new cell phone but like with apple every time you turn around it's being upgraded so you just get in the new model and here they go up you know putting out another one it's like you never get to settle in and your your the latest model is never special for long because there's a new model some of these sculptors are like Boom, boom, boom. They're just spitting out babies back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back. You can't take a breath. <laughs> but I guess it's good for the collectors that haven't found the face that clicks for them yet. And then the sculptor finally does something that you really like. So, you know, it's one of those things where we can never be totally pleased as a whole. So the sculptors have to do what they got to do. And they have to do what they got to do to survive as well. Um, mm. I'm just looking at something. Oh wow. I I had this baby here and I was looking at it. I, the um sorry, I'm in the background. Let me get let me stop. That's rude. Um yeah, I was looking at the baby that I was actually getting ready to send off. It is lighter though. Um, but Lulu tummy plate kind of worked on him. So I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. But yeah, um, so yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's just one of those, those things. So I don't know. Let me know guys in the comment section. Are you guys still like pre-ordering up everything or have you guys stopped? How do you feel about the pre-orders? Do you feel like it's worth it? Um, I really would like to know, like, what other people think about pre-orders at this time. Like, is it, you know, something that you just feel like you still need to do? Or has it become a thing where it's just like, oh, I'll just wait till it come out. Just curious on, on that. Um, 
but definitely not to persuade one's decision because you know a lot of times like I said if people sculptors sometimes they need to do the pre-order and you know it kind of helps them offset the cost and know and also know how many to order because if there's not a much of an interest why order 5,000 kits if only two people order type thing so I don't know um so I definitely understand it from a business standpoint you know from the sculptor's point of view just just me talking um just so you guys know I am not a sculptor I do not review their contracts or know what exactly how their process go when they're producing these kits I just know that it does cost them a lot of money I do know that the purpose of the pre-orders is kind of to gauge the demand for the kit and also help pay for the production of the kit um, and I, I guess lace their pockets of course too but you know what I'm saying um, but anyway I'm, I'm just out of the loop on it now at this point which plus I'm kind of getting out of painting vinyl as much anyway I, so I'll probably be buying only the ones that I really want for my personal collection um, which I am still a huge Reborn fan. I, Reborns is just, it's really the root of co my collecting. You know, I, I love silicone babies. I would collect a million of them if I could, to be honest. But Reborns are really like the heart of my collection. Like, Reborns is what brought me here. And I will never stop loving Reborns. So, and I won't stop painting them unless I can't for whatever reason. Um, but I don't think I'll be selling them as often. Maybe, maybe not. Just simply because I don't root and I just, I don't, I, I don't feel like it. <laughs> anyway, um, let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.